Hi there, this is Dave from Professional Ebook Covers. Uh, today's tutorial is going to teach you how to just add pages to your new WordPress website. I'm in the back end here, and I also like to always have a window open in the front end so I can just keep an idea as to what's going on. Now, typically, when you start a WordPress website, all of your posts become your homepage content. Now, there are two types of content that you can put onto your WordPress site. I just mentioned posts. That's your daily articles, that article here about French press, another arg article about Yurgashev coffee. Those are considered dynamic content. What we want to create today is the static content or the static pages. Good examples of those are pages like Contact Us or Services or About Us or... Uh, you get the picture. Most, almost every website in the world has uh, that kind of content on it, has uh, static pages on it, and that's going to be the foundation of what we create for our WordPress site. So if you look down this dashboard, I'm in the back end of my website now. If you scroll down this dashboard, you'll see I have pages that I can add, and up here I have posts I can add. Again, posts are the everyday content that we're adding. Pages are the static content that is likely not going to change unless you change your email or phone number or what have you. We're just going, static content is pretty much always going to stay the same. So the first thing we want to do, I'm looking here, I have three posts just set up for myself. I have zero pages. Now, it didn't look like it because I have a home page. That's an automatic home page that WordPress installs. That's going to be gone when we're done this, and I'll show you how. So the first thing we want to do is uh, click on this Add New. And now we're not going to add any content to these pages. We're just going to add new pages. We get to the Add New Page screen. Now, I'm going. this might sound confusing, but don't be confused. I'm going to add a new home page, okay? And just simply publish that. We're not going to add any content in here just yet into this WYSIWYG editor. We're just going to publish this page. It's almost done. And sure enough, page is published. You can view that page if you want to. Let's just go back and add another new page here. Just click on Add New Page. And for our case, I'm going to create an About Us page. And again, not adding content, just pressing, pressing Publish. About Us has been published. I know this sounds a little odd, but we're building basically the, the pages of your website so that you know where you're going to add the content a little bit later on. And also so that we can change how uh, WordPress is going to display your content to some degree as well. So I've clicked Add New again. My website is about coffee in this case, so I want to create a, a page called Coffee Articles. A-R-T-I-C-L, yes. Spelling is not a requisite to uh, to be involved in word publishing or WordPress publishing, just so you know. Okay, and that is adding. And let's just add one more. Uh, again, you can see that page is published. Let's add one more. And in this case, I'm going to call it Contact Us. And once again, Publish. Always likes to save a draft first. There we go. It's publishing. And there we are. So I'm going to go back to our front page here and just take a look at it. We'll have a bunch of new pages here. Now, still, this home page, this original home page that WordPress has created, has uh, these articles as its home page. And we want a static page as the home page. So I'm going to show you how we do that. So let's go to the back end here one more time and look down this dashboard column. Down to settings, you'll see a button here called reading. Go ahead, click on that. This is going to tell WordPress how you want your website to be seen. And we want a new front page. We don't want it as the latest posts, like as is the default. We want a static page. So I press select, and we'll use the new home that we've got. And the posts page, or the articles that we want, I will use as copy articles. If I press save changes, that is done. Let's go back and look at the front end of the website. This is the home button that we created. It's going to move over here. It won't look like that necessarily, but watch this. It just got rid of it. It actually moved it over here because now home, you can see, is just this blank static page ready for us to add content to. And the articles are now under coffee articles. That's going to be the foundation of how you build your website. I highly recommend setting up your pages and then adding the content in, and you can see it progress as you go. 
That's what we'll do in the next video is teach you how to add content to those pages that you've just created right now. If you want to watch more helpful tutorials or perhaps order your own WordPress site or a graphics package for your website, just visit us at professionalebookcovers.com. From the design team at Professional Ebook Covers, I'm Dave. Thanks very much for watching.